All right, good afternoon, good evening, whatever time it is, wherever you are. My name is Robert Newman. I'm a real estate uh, online marketing uh, consultant um, who is uh, also founder of a, a couple different companies. The one that's uh, relevant here is Inbound Real Estate Marketing. And uh, uh, this particular video is uh, one in a series that is rating the top 20 real estate website providers so these companies make real estate websites and I've picked the top 20 I've been doing this for a decade I know who is legitimate and not I've talked to thousands of real estate agents in my roles as senior leadership and a consultant for some of Southern California's top uh, real estate technology companies and uh, it's given me a lot of good inside knowledge and I'll let you be the judge so uh, Boston Logic it was founded by da David Friedman all right in 2004 uh, he's started a couple of other companies, uh, but Boston Logic Technology Partners is the one that's still currently there. Uh, their claim to fame, so they are they are in the category of a custom real estate website um, maker or service provider. All that means is that they can take a design and they're going to slap it on top of their customer record management system or the content management system, and they've combined the two. That is a way of saying that similar to HubSpot or Salesforce, they're going to manage your contact information and they're also going to manage your content. Content is pictures, images, videos. It's really not all that complicated uh, in terms of, of what they're supposed to do. Uh, let's take a look at it real quick. So this is a Boston Logics website. Uh, they do have some pretty cool features. Um, this is a real estate market data. They have a, what's called a custom IDX. That's just a custom way of presenting property information. Um, the way that I know that is because I've looked at thousands of IDXs, and I know when I'm looking at something that is unique and what, or if it belongs to somebody else. They've got good information presented in a nice way on the website. Now, is it better than other providers? No, it's not. And Boston Logics, uh, I their pricing is not on their website. However, years of doing this, I have many times competed against them. And unless they have changed their pricing, they fall on the extreme high end of the marketplace. Uh, I believe that their solutions run from $5,000 to $15,000. And um, just keep in mind, there's room for me to be wrong. Uh, if anybody wants to leave a comment about their Boston Logic pricing or experience down at the bottom of the comments section of either this video or my website, feel free. This is another Boston Logic's website. Um, now, here's a couple things that I do. So, obviously, as a real estate agent, especially if you're looking at a price tag of five or ten or fifteen thousand dollars, you probably at some point are going to ask yourself if that kind of money is going to generate you business. And Boston Logics is not very good. They, they're a little bit better than everybody else at saying on their website that, hey, we're really not going to give you a point-and-click solution. In other words, you're not going to get leads automatically. Intelligent marketing automation just means that they probably take a lead and then they email it for you. That really doesn't actually generate you leads, not unless they're doing it very cleverly. And the only companies that are out there that are doing really good behavioral email marketing is Z57 and Zirpal. Um, so these guys probably don't have it dialed in. Um, in terms of it being a point and click and you know you set the site up and you, you automatically make leads. Now another thing that I always check is how do these companies market themselves. I feel it's extremely relevant in terms of their overall knowledge. So here's Boston Logic. Um, here's their overview. All right, so they have a lot of backlinks, a lot of referring domains, but not that much organic traffic. They've got $948, so they've been in business for 13 years, and they have $948 worth of organic traffic. Their top pages pretty much target their own business name. So you can be sure that while they're claiming, and they do claim this on their website, that they know SEO, that they're good at SEO, I always ask the same question. Okay, and, and you as my audience, you get to ask questions any way that you want to. Um, but for me, it's if you know SEO, why in the world wouldn't you do it for yourself? Like that's my, my first question that I ask 
when I'm looking at, at real estate marketing companies. So if you're really that good, if you're selling SEO services, if you're selling on-page services of any kind, whatever it is, why wouldn't you do it for yourself? So these guys are essentially claiming that their websites are very good from a technical SEO perspective. I don't see anything that leads me to believe that it's better than a WordPress website, which is a content management system, and that's part of their solution. So really what it comes down to in terms of the value that you might be getting from Boston Logics is going to end up being this customer record management system that they integrate in and whatever email marketing camp, uh, capabilities that they have. I don't know what those are. I would love to review Boston Logics. For the kind of money that they charge, I would expect some very fancy bells and whistles on the back end of the platform. Now, their, their founder is a real experienced tech guy, and I always look at who their founder is and um, what, what their history is and what they've been doing with their career. Are they passionate about real estate and real estate technology? I, I'm incredibly passionate about real estate SEO. All you've got to go do is look at my 50 or so videos and my blog posts and look at what you, you will quickly realize must be hundreds of hours I put into this, and you will know this guy... <laughs> it's got to be passionate. So another thing I do is I take a look at their like a, a like a website. I in this particular case, all you have to do is Google "built with Boston Logics" and you'll be able to to basically see every single website that they've ever built. Um, I don't know that there's like in terms of other competitors, they are not like Agent Image with eighteen thousand installs. They may have a couple thousand. So they're also most likely charging a lot because they have a decent sized company. So that like you can actually look at how many customers they have online versus um, how many years have been in the business and, and how many employees like people like Manta or other company information research sites say that these guys have like Glassdoor. If they have 45 employees and a few hundred websites, you can be absolutely sure that there is a very high recurring cost that goes along with their product because there's no way for them to support that many employees unless they've got like deep, like a deep recurring revenue stream. Uh, this is another site of theirs. Since we are talking about a custom site, now this one is somewhat impressive uh, because it's got four verticals on the homepage. So I would say that this is, I pulled it up and I looked at it and I was like, this is pretty cool. Now you could do something similar, but they do have some pretty cool landing pages and multiple functionality. Um, I personally, as a marketer, would not divide this many, I wouldn't have a, a, a website with this many calls to action that are this different. I just wouldn't. But if this is something you had to do or wanted to do, if every single segment of your business was super important and you didn't have the ability to split your websites up, this might be a company and a solution to look at. Um, and again, the devil is in the details, which is why I make these review videos. It's, it's incredibly important that anybody considering these guys um, understand what the strengths and the weaknesses are. They probably can build a pretty good custom solution and they could probably do some clever things with design. And if they've got, a, like, if you look, um, oh, that's the other thing. And I don't like when people do this, but I'm, I'm old school. Um, these guys will not let you look at their platform. The only way that I could get in to look at one of these platforms is if a Boston Logics client gave me the login or if you schedule a demo. That's a real old school way of uh, generating uh, leads. So you think, like you look at all this awesome stuff and maybe you found a Boston Logics website and that's probably what happens because that's a way a lot of real estate web development companies make their business is they see, uh, people see the signature on the bottom of the site that they like and then they contact the real estate website designer. And honestly, that was like 30 to 40% of the leads at Agent Image when I was uh, was involved in distributing those leads. So it was a huge number, and that was including PPC and organic traffic. So it was a really giant number. And email campaigns, so um, that's the way a lot of people do it. So they call in, and now they have to go through a demo. They have to sit through a sales presentation to even understand what the platform will do. I'm not a big fan of that kind of marketing strategy anymore. I think that some, what somebody should do is put a demo online and let you look at it. And if you look at the demo, collect all your information, and you think, okay, this is a solution for me, the person on the other end, they've got a very warm lead now. Now it's just about pricing and uh, demographics and, and a few other things that, that will 
play into whether or not this ends up being your vendor of choice. Um, okay, so uh, while searching for reviews, I did discover who knows how old this is. Please don't take this into don't take this as hard and fast. I would say that it's probably a good ballpark. So this is the monthly, and I, this it doesn't even count the setup. So you're looking at four hundred and sixty five dollars, and like I said. This isn't a, a company that has a massive amount of employees, so I, I already knew in advance, like I told you, uh, that that the monthly was going to be high. Their suggestion is that you bill agents. Uh, honestly, this is a really antiquated format of of technology and billing, like trying to bill agents for something that they probably get like fifty dollars a month for HubSpot, and you're going to get a hell of a CRM. Like it's going to do amazing things for you. And you can connect WordPress into HubSpot. So, and WordPress is free. So now you're talking about, you've got your, like any technology savvy agent that you sit down with. And honestly, these days, the new agents, the ones that you're bringing on board, you want them to be technology savvy. The days in which like old real estate pros who have a book of business in a neighborhood that they've been doing business with, it exists, but those markets are dying. And those pros are not, for the most part, seeing growth. Uh, referrals and hand-to-hand -hand and face-to-face -face sales still works, will always work. But every single time you turn around where somebody gets on their phone or somebody, like, unless you just, the people that are doing those types of sales strategies, they, they're they out all the time. They're at mixers and lunches and dinners. Um, I know many of those agents here in, in Beverly Hills and Hollywood who do their business with movie stars and people that just aren't going to pick up the, the phone. But they are out almost every single night. And that's what you have to do to maintain that kind of personal network. Technology takes that away. Okay, it unfortunately for you, if you're not on technology every single time somebody picks up a phone or or goes searching on the internet, you stand a chance to lose a client. And uh um anyway, this is this is it. And finally let's wrap up with Boston Logic's reviews. Um you can see here there's many different places, but this is a web design company, Glassdoor. Glassdoor takes employees and, and takes their reviews. So 23 people have left reviews. That's a lot. Uh, it's got a 4.1. That's not bad. So it's probably a pretty decent place to, to work. You can go on and read uh, whatever the reviews are there. Um, you've got a lot of different places. G2 Crowd. G2 Crowd's not too reliable. I would not set too much store. You've got three votes on Facebook that can be iffy, but it doesn't look great that they've got poor, um, uh, poor votes. Another thing is that when you usually put in reviews, uh, you're usually going to get a, a, uh, a Google My Business page. Um, so, and there is none. Just to give you an example, like I do the name of my website, which is Inbound REM, and I do reviews, and uh, there you see my Google My Business page. That's this with uh, the reviews on it. And you see other reviews coming in from other places, so on and so forth. But but that's those are probably nitpicky things. Boston Logic has been around for a long time. Their platform may do something that somebody else does. I'd be cautious when approaching them uh, about... I would really like, if you are a technology expert, I think that Boston Logic might have something in their package that might appeal to you and they're worth a try. If you are not a real estate uh, technology expert, I don't think that Boston Logic is a great choice. Uh, there's nothing in it that's going to be easy about the platform or the relationship. All right, so that's it. Uh, thank you for tuning in. That was my Boston Logic uh, uh, real estate website review. And I'll talk to you soon.